calling the, the board meeting to order for October 10th, 2023. We'll first the Pledge of the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. All right, welcome everybody. Okay. The first um, item, I got two additions to the agenda. The first one is M, BMG confirmation for additional services. And the second one is N, Casco Township Brain Assessment Inputs. so far or Does someone like to make a motion or to approve the consent agenda? I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Okay, with the two um, additional with the two additional M. BMJ invoice and N, Mexico Township Assessment Invoice. Okay. Support. Support. Okay, we have a motion support to approve the consent agenda with the two um, the two um, additions to the agenda. Okay, roll call vote. Anderson yes. Danny yes. Kaczynski yes. Stevens yes. Silver yes. Thank you. Under your update. Of the list I gave you last month of all the local auditors that service townships and communities in the area, I've requested quotes from two of them, Raymond Associates that um, services our native township, and Bus and Company that does Richmond Township. Both of the communities, um, they spoke highly of their auditors, and um, they're similar in size to both Casco Township. So uh, I have something here for next meeting for the board to consider. Okay. Okay. Any questions on that? Okay. Next one, um, budget amendments. I have a, a request of, of a list here of some monies we have to move around. We have a bill coming in for maintenance and repair for $12,000. Or, or, or we just start. It's just over. Oh, it's yeah. just over. Yeah. 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 Next time, Joe, you need to put the revenue in it. Yeah. 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 Record I know you put it with this. Okay. Yes. So that, because I, you need yeah. backup. Okay. Just we'll so do. everyone can we'll see. We'll do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe we just hold these off to next month so you guys can see the revenue and expenditure report. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we'll and I'm showing more. Sure. Okay. All right. Next one, high tech Microsoft 360 um, live <laughs> business quote. I make a motion to approve um, the, or the quote from high tech for Microsoft 365 for the year. 
Motion support to uh, to approve the um, Microsoft 360 business standard for, for an annual fee for $1,572. Any questions? Roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Ian, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stiller, yes. Okay. <coughs> PC, PC and invoicing admin fee. So this is uh, project control. So um, we have to invoice. PCE does our reviews and then invoices us, right? They, they tell us the amount. They invoice us, so then we have to bill the customer instead of them invoicing directly. Mm. Whatever the reason is, whatever. And we talked to him about a fee, and he said that he's fine paying a fee, and he said other communities do it, and they do upwards of 150 bucks for a review. We were charging 15, so we need to increase that because you know we it takes us time to do the bills, and you know you're paying, you're running the checks, you're sending out mail. It's you know it's all cost. So, and if he's fine with us invoicing, then. The reason why they do that is we have leverage on the applicant. I mean, we can withhold permits. Right, and he yeah, can. Right. right. So it's easier for them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Makes sense. All right. So I guess we need to decide on a amount, a reasonable amount. And we were charging 15. 15. And the going rate is 150. Yeah. And this will be reflected back to the person pulling the permits? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the applicant. The applicant. Mm -hmm. Yep. House building, um, additions, such like that? Well, mostly it will be commercial and industrial. Commercial and industrial. Because yeah. yes. we, we, have, we have John on how to control, review all of our site plans. In that right. regard. Yeah. What do you guys think? think? It's fair. What do you think? Collecting on behalf of Mr. Monty. And his, I believe on his fee schedule, he will need to add. Okay. All right, we have a motion to set a um, admin fee for PCE um, project control invoicing for $100. Correct? Yeah. Support. Okay, we have support. Okay, um, uh, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stover, yes. Okay. Motion carries. Okay. Um, previously, we had um, assigned our ordinance and control officer to do the land splits, but our assessor did, um, told me that they're becoming increasingly complex. So this is not a job for that gentleman. Right. It's it's not. Well, and Steve's familiar with. We need someone who knows from the get-go, look at the site, look at the, the plot, and, and be able to judge immediately. There's enough frontage, there's enough depth, how many splits are available on this piece of property. Sometimes you have to check with the county on that because um, they might set that back in the day. It, a, a property could be 50 years old and, and have X, X amount of splits. You have to know that. Right. And there's nobody better that knows that than the assessor and the planner. So those are the two people who should be looking at these splits, signing off on these splits. Other than that, you're just putting it in front of somebody who doesn't know what they're looking at and they're signing off. And that can get us in a lot of trouble. We have to know better than to make a, a, 
uh, lot that is landlocked, that has problems with uh, drains and ditches and such like that, and the assessor and the planner both are the people to do that. And uh, there's also uh, Linda in the office, in the assessor's office, that can forward any information to those two people um, so the process isn't held up too much. People are always in a rush to do this once they decide to do it and they, they run into the fact that um, we have to put it up to Port Huron, we have to put it up to lands and grass, and who knows how far back they're backed up. And, and people get very anxious about that. Well, it has to be splits available to do. Yes. And sometimes you apply for splits yeah. that are really not possible. Yeah. Right. So, and they need to know that as quickly as possible so they can make their plans too. So, I would I would hope that uh, Shelley Baumeister and Mr. Cassins would take care of this for us. Okay. And of course, he will charge a fee. We've always had um, on splits, I believe it was $150 for the first split off of a piece of property, and then every split thereafter was $50. Are you making the um, yes. motion to hire Steve Kasson? Yes. Okay. I'll support. Okay, we have a motion to support to hire Steve Kasson to perform land splits at $50 a piece. Um, roll call vote? Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Silver, yes. Okay, motion carried. Decrease the cost of the first land split fee, isn't it, from $100 to $150? I, I'm probably wrong. I thought it was always 150 Yeah. Um, but if not, then he yeah, wants I think $150. Shelley told me it was $150. Yeah, he, that, that's what he wants. Yeah, it goes to 150 Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Then it's 50 after that. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. For every split after that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, you're making that motion to him? Yes. Okay. We have motion support to increase the cost of the first land split fee to $150. Um, roll we'll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Silver, yes. Motion carries. Okay, snow removal contract. I only got one in. It was about an hour before the meeting starts. So it looks like we're going to have a special meeting because I'd like to get something in place. I think these guys are still busy cutting grass. That's why they, they have to change been. tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We need to make sure we have something in place before the election. Right. Absolutely. If it snows that day. Our, <coughs> our requirements that we had, we set from 1st of November to the end of April. So, and uh, to do the lots out here, all of the logs, salt them in that. And then the back lot in the cemetery upon request. So, okay. Okay, all right, so uh, we will postpone that until we get some more, and I will be calling them first thing tomorrow morning and see where they're at on it is. Appoint William Trombley Border Review Alternate. Mr. Trombley is a veteran of the United States Navy, and he's, he approached me a few times before wanting to uh, uh, serve for the township, and we have a need for a border review alternate. Well, that's lovely. Um, I'll make a motion to appoint Mr. Trombley as alternate to the Casco Township Board of Review. And good luck to him. Support. Okay, we have a motion support to um, to uh, appoint Mr. Trombley as an alternate to the Casco Township Board of Review with terms starting October 11, 2023, and indeed December 31st, 2024. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. And we will carry on the tradition of no fear that they're certain on that. <laughs> okay. Quote for shed removal. Excuse me. Um, if you don't mind, and if we have a little bit of time, uh, I have another quote coming to my desk tomorrow morning. I'm thinking that we can do a little bit better than this. Um, and if not, we've only lost a day. I'm glad to hear that. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. I'm um, also thinking, um, because I don't know, we, we can talk about it more times. Okay. Yes. Um, I, I asked the person who was quoting the, to be aware 
that there is a, there are uh, lawnmowers or something. There's a lot of stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff, and it has to be taken out to, out to, to um, what do you call that? Smith's Creek. Landfill. To Smith's Creek or to a landfill or yeah. something. And there's a cement slab. And, 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 uh, and yeah. who has the key to that shed? That we can show the gentleman who's cold. Yeah, I got it. You don't want to, you know. Um, also, to a lot of that metal could be took up in scrap dealers. Well, it's, it's whoever bids it out. It's theirs to do with what they want. Okay. I'm not going to nickel and dime them if they're going to, you know, we'll come see and if give there's us a good quote. If there, we need Casco history in there before it's. <laughs> Casco history, yeah. Are you talking about Great Shadow Newton? Yep. You want it, Jimmy? No, because I'm sure it has no value, but the assessor will find some. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so we'll we'll postpone this. Yeah, until we just get give that. me just give me till um, noon tomorrow. I think I'll have a quote on my desk before that time. Okay. And if not, poor Mr. McDonald will be stuck with this. All right. Um, park development policy. Casper Township's development developing its very first. Park. As a matter of fact, they started clearing the land last week, um, prepping the land to bring to put in the aggregate of the driveway, and the parking lot, and to pave where the sidewalks and the pads will be. Um, to guide this park, last month we appointed a Parks and Recs Advisory Committee. Okay, we want to develop this park in a very systematic effort and manner. We appointed the, um, these individuals, five individuals who are representative of the community to guide along the bill. They'll make, they'll, they'll look at various issues of design of, of various structures and other amenities and make a recommendation to the township board. The township board has a final approval. I, po I had um, it posted online that we're not opposed to receiving any kind of donations of funds or goods to help develop the park, but we need to do it in a very guided manner. So we don't want it to be done haphazardly. Um, so that's as simple as that. We just want our park, everything to proceed at a very mannerly and efficient way so we don't have it looking hodgepodge in design. Um, Manner. So is this why you called Jennifer and asked her to cancel the last CAFS sorting no, event? No. Because um, I have so scheduled that. Public comments right now, remember? Okay. We're going to have public comments at the end. Okay, good. Okay. All right. He told me to make sure to show up because what he was going to say addressing this was going to answer my questions today. And, and they have not. No. He said comments. show up. For the meeting and, public and your comments. no, I called him personally. I understand you called him personally, MJ. According to board policy and open meetings act and whatnot, this is a board meeting, mm -hmm. and the citizens have a right to comment during the citizens' comment, which is at the end. This is supposed to be a meeting between us. Any questions or comments and whatnot can be addressed at the end of the meeting. I just thought there'd be more, mm -hmm. and there might be during the board or the citizens' comments. Okay. All right. Um, the next one is the Springborn Road culvert replacement. The Springborn Road, uh, the culvert at the landing drain, that's between on uh, Springborn Road between Church and BT is in really bad shape. Matter of fact, um, it could fail at any time. It needs to be replaced. Um, the road commission told me it will cost most likely fifteen thousand, nearly sixteen thousand, fifteen thousand five hundred ninety-five dollars and four cents. It could go as high as nineteen thousand four hundred thirty. The reason why the new culvert is going to be bigger than the one it's replaced. Sometimes when they do that, they dig. They'll hit old bridge abutments. They'll increase the, um, increase the cost of it. Um, these are, this is the first of, um, let's see, six culverts across county drains that need to replace, be replaced in the next few years. 
we have to start knocking this out, taking care of these. Uh, some of these, some of these are getting um, low graded now, so that's a safety habit for fire trucks, school buses, and like. So it needs to get done. Yes. Yeah, school buses. Yeah. All right. I make a motion to approve the um, road commission invoice or quote for nineteen thousand four hundred and thirty dollars for Springborn. Yeah. Road collar replacement. Well, the one thing, let me bring it up. We do get a match from St. Clair County Road Commission from Grain Funds for $7,767.87. So, it, the much is, we would only have to pay at maximum $11,600. Oh. Okay, I changed my. Okay. Yeah. I'll okay. All right. Okay. okay, we have motion um, to pay um, a maximum cost. $11,762.13. Um, do we have support for that? Support. Okay, we have motion support. Um, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Silver, yes. Okay, motion carries. The second one, county ARPA funds. Back in, um, in 2021, each county commissioner was given a um, certain amount of ARPA money to distribute whatever, whichever way they choose. We got the recipients of, from two commissioners. One was Commissioner Vanden Bosch. He bought the, the weather alert sirens around the county. And we have one of them here at the hall and the other one's down at the uh, trailer park here on uh, county line. The other one, it was from our commissioner, um, Rushy. He gave us a mile. Most of it would you, was used to uh, do the overlay on St. Clair Highway between Meldrum and Church Road. Um, the second of all, the remaining, um, the previous supervisor directed it to broadband. Well, one thing broadband, there is a ton of federal and state money out there to increase it. Um, Federal-wise, um, Mercury Broadband got certain areas of Casco Township. They're like a wireless um, provider. And there's a couple er other areas, a few other areas that no one, I don't know if anyone's betting on them to get some of the state funds. I'm going to start checking into that. So there's, there's plenty of funds in there. And I called up Dina Aldergrade, Alderdice up there at the county. There was 19,000. Um, $19,196.13 left over. And we could use those money to replace those culverts. So um, she says, get board approval to send up a revised memo up to the county. And with that in hand, that would redirect that money from um, broadband into culverts. Yeah, I would think the county should be doing all they can to make sure we've got broadband in this township. Yeah. Without us spending any additional funds. Right. And the state too. With all the billions that the federal government has. Yeah. Yeah, we and we're desperately need, like I said, six scholars that need to get replaced. Did you tell them my house didn't have any <laughs> <laughs> were they sympathetic at all? Well, there's another call when you're, you're close to your place that needs to be placed in it too. <laughs> okay. A little. Okay, so I guess I, I need a motion to for me to send up the revised. Um, um, I send a Okay, we have a motion to support. send up. Okay, a motion support for revised uh, uh, memo to the, um, the county. Directly that we want the rest of that um, Commissioner Russian's money to go for power replacement for $19,196.13. Roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stephen Chet. Still yes. Okay, motion carries. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so resolution 2000. 23-13, early voting site establishment and location. So, with all this new election stuff going on, we are going to be doing an early voting site here with Columbus Township. And we have to have a resolution 
approved, so we can send it to the county and they're going to send it to the state. So that'll help us sharing costs for the early voting center as far as election inspectors, um, the tabulator, electricity, everything. Everything is for sharing. That's good. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, we have to make a motion to um, to approve this resolution, to adopt this resolution. I make a motion to adopt resolution 2023-13 for early voting site in Casper Township to be shared with Columbus Township. Second that motion. Okay, a motion support to adopt resolution. 2023-13 early voting site establishment and location. Okay, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. And, yes. Okay. Kaczynski, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Sorry. You said yes. Um, Stevens, yes? Still yes. Okay. Resolution adopted. Okay. Um, Okay. Okay, the next one here, confirmation for request of additional services. Um, when they started developing the top, um, the contractor had to stop. They had to, uh, the engineer, um, BMJ, the engineering company that's doing the surveying, they also need to do a soil compaction test before they start laying down the aggregate. There's certain materials they have to put down before they start laying in the limestone down for the driveway and parking lot here. Um, so the cost of this is going to be $600 for this. And um, one additional thing, in case of any additional costs that come up, I guess I'm asking the board to... to not to exceed amount? Yeah. Did we not talk we about don't. this before yes. we awarded these contracts? Did I not specifically bring up the idea of add-ons? And I was told that they were of no consequence. But I am allowed in your office to disregard, because that was my main concern. This is not our first rodeo in, in hiring contractors. There are some contractors that give you the bottom line and, do add -ons. and, and some contractors that do add-ons. This to me is an add-on. We haven't even started and this is an add-on and I asked if add-ons were going to be a problem with this project and I was told no. So here we go, the first add-on, an additional $600 just for the record. Is this something that Ward requires? Because he's got Ward, the contract to do Ward it, If Ward requires it, we we get should, it should have been in the quote. Or the bid, whatever. I mean, he's yeah. done it before. That's what I'm he's saying. Up. And we were told because it was through the DNR, we had to take the lowest mm -hmm. bid, yeah, we which we did. And I remember Conley specifically asking at the meeting about add-ons. And yes. bottom line, this was this, no more add There was not going to be any add-ons. So, I'm sorry, but a lot of times, a lot of us have been on committees for uh, school boards, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> Add-ons are a way of life, and they can, they can completely change the character of what you thought the building was going to be, um, just because, well, now we can't afford this, so we have to go here, we have to do this instead of this, and I understand all that. But, I am not giving carte blanche to anything. Okay. You want an add-on, you come to this table and you tell me what that add-on right. is. So, just for the $600 for the soil compaction. Where did this come from? I mean, who says that we needed to do this in order to proceed with, with Ward's work? This was the, the, the person, the gentleman who's doing the work for Ward there. He, he's a he's a employee. A subcontractor. Yeah, so, no, it doesn't make sense to me that he would bid the work, give us a quote, accept the contract, and then what send his contractor back to us for another uh, charge. Doesn't um, make sense. 
in the bed? Not this, but this line item. Was this line item in there and it cost yeah, more? Sure that, yeah, sure. Or is this just something that they didn't include in the yeah. thing? Yeah. The, 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 the thing that came up, there was a concern yeah. down there, the type of soil that was, was down But the specs for the job were quite clear. I mean, mm -hmm. from Ken Right. And he accepted those specs. So right. It doesn't seem to me that this is a, a something that we need to pay for. He needs to pay for that. It's part of the job. I mean, how many of these <coughs> people hit? I, I, I My point is that. Okay. I think we got to start trying to work this one through and not do this and have him do the job without sending a whole lot of this is something that is required by the DQ, <coughs> imagine how many things are going to be required by the DEQ that we had better Almost. have contingency for. <coughs> seems what he needed to do to make that bid is included in that bid to go forward with this project. I don't understand why what? all of a sudden he's starting to come back with us with things, his contractor, his subcontractor, okay. the other things that need to be paid for by us in order to get the job to go. It doesn't make exactly good sense. And we today. probably can't proceed with anything in the township until this testing is done? Yeah. <coughs> so. Is this what you're talking about? Is it that kind of program? Yes. Yeah. 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 So. I mean, it, 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 and it might be just because I am inexperienced no. with, you know, bids of this sort, uh, of this volume for the township. Um, but when he put a bid in, I mean, didn't he go? This is what the man does for a living. Yeah. Right. Why wasn't that included? Well, and bring him here, and we can ask him all of these questions that. for you. I'm very no, we, to that. we have to have no comments there. right now. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. He did not provide a con any contingencies like this in the bid that I saw. The bid was the bid for the okay. work. To so, get the job right. done, and it what, did, this was not included, nor was it seen as necessary at the time. Okay, make a motion then. What's the motion? Well, it seems like you're making one. I'm not making a motion. I'm just saying I, it doesn't seem like we need to do that. Like it needs to even be on the table. It's got the job. I don't think we need to re-approve the job. I think we need one so I'll just tell them that they'll have to I don't think I need to move to enforce the contract that we have with Ward to do this job. The contract that we approved, accepted, and that we signed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think he needs to be told that and we'll take it from there. All right. So that's your motion, or not? It's, it's not, not a motion. motion. This, is, motion. this is a confirmation of request for additional it's services. Okay. All right. We're not doing anything with it. Okay. All right. I only talked to Mr. Ward. He told him I can call this evening. And this didn't even come from Ward, did it? It came from his subcontractors out there trying to work on the job. Yeah, well, the man works for him, so it's, a, it's an important thing. But All right. But he answers back to him. So. Okay. Next one is um, in. It's Casco Township. Um, is this is the invoice for the drain assessment? This is our portion for the drain assessment. The entire drain assessment was one hundred and twenty-eight thousand. Our portion, Casco Township, that we pay before December first, so we don't accrue interest on it is $9,723.56 and that includes the projects for um, the Bomer Drain, the Balmer, the Banlow, Casco, Hessen, Meldrum, Pelton, and Weber. And if we pay this off in the year, then we accrue no interest on it, which is what I would prefer to do. 
the entire drain roll will arrive in my office um, intact, I think, um, very shortly. And uh, when we get the, the uh, winter roll going, then it will be added to the roll. motion that we um, pay the invoice for the drain projects that come listed for the total of $9,723.56. Support. We have a motion to support to pay the drain assessment of nine, invoice for $9,723.56. Roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Ben, yes. Kuczynski, yes. Steven, yes. Dover, yes. Okay, motion carries. Okay, citizens' comments. Mary Jo Walton, Road. So I have a few questions and then I have a statement. So Joe, specifically to you, I want to make sure that I understand your statement earlier today, which is you appointed a park advisory committee and the one that was formed prior to that date was an unofficial one? Yes. Okay. And so your concern with donations to the park is that they need, they can't be haphazard. We would like the development of the park to be orderly. Of course. So your problem with the specific caps for benches for our park the problems you have with it is what? Because you didn't call me to say, hey, I don't think that this next sorting caps event is a good idea or whatever it is. You went to great lengths to find a renter in this community's cell phone number to call her, to tell her to cancel the event that I scheduled that she was hosting. I, what in the world? I did not say that. She sent me an email asking about it of the statement that we made. I called her up and she goes, I don't want to do anything that's contrary to the wishes of the township. Okay, so the statement made was this big bold Facebook print post that states effective immediately, all donations mm -hmm. to the park uh, have to go through the board. Well, interesting. The, 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 the advisory committee yes. and then from the advisory committee, any final approvals is done by the township board. Okay. Well, and it's really interesting timing for all this, Joe, when this project that we started, no, 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 I'm not done. When we started this project in 2019, I was a part of the Parks and Recreation Committee, Advisory Committee, and I was there for the ribbon cutting, and I discussed with the people who were on this unofficial board, we weren't told it was unofficial, but apparently it is, I said, you know what? There's this CAPS for Benches program. It could get the community together, it could save us a lot of money, and it would join, it would generate excitement for this new park we're getting. Everybody said, that's great, sounds amazing. I brought up the discussion of, well, there's going to be fees of cost. Do we have to have, I don't know, one person said, well, we could do uh, save bottle CAPS. And I was told, no, 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 the township has money for our park things and it will cover the cost of the finalization of this project. So now with the finalization, this was the very last court uh, cap sorting. Now all of a sudden there's this big push to, oh, you were unofficial. Oh, everything is going to change. Pack hazard, you know, the whole thing. I don't, I don't understand. I got a question. Yeah. I know there's a lot of, been a lot of back and forth and all of it's not, doesn't sound so friendly, but uh, what does it take to get this thing to happen and make things right and Great have question. things go forward? Great question. Thank you. That was my statement. I'm going to start, though, because this clarifies what I just said. This is the 2019 Township News and Information Letter that we used to receive up until, I think, 2019. Um, myself and others have come up to Township meetings and asked that this continue. Um, I don't know, does anybody else have these or have had them? Mm -hmm. I mean, in the people that there was eight of us here, seven of us said, we saved them. I've got a file. We saved them from the years because it's pertinent and important information. Well, on this 2019 Township News and Information Letter, it says, each year, Casco Township receives a share of the county park millage. 17,000 was received in 2018. 
This money is held in a separate account and can only be used for parks and recreation purposes. A Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee has been created to help with future park decisions. Meetings will be posted and everyone is welcome to attend. This does not say an unofficial one that nobody cares about in the future. Okay, so to answer your question, these caps, 1,500 of them, the market value, if we were to purchase them, if the park was to purchase them outright, the retail value, the retail cost, I looked at four different sites. Sites were $1,480 per eight foot cap, $1,100 per eight foot, excuse me, not cap bench. One was $1,220 and one was $742. When you add those together and divide it, it's an average cost of $619.92. No, excuse me. The average cost of each bench is $1,135.75. The ones that the township and our community have collected all these 1,500 caps and we've sorted them, cleaned them, whatever, they just have to get to the facility and back. So there is the cost of the gas, renting a U-Haul trailer for $140, there's 1,500 of them and it needs to be a closed cap. That comes to $515 per bench as opposed to 1100 so it's less than half of market retail value for the benches. The total would be, if they were bought for retail, $6,814.50 for the six eight foot long benches. This project through the community would cost $3,235. So it, it's saving more than half for the benches for our park. Plus, it united community members, lots of people made friends, lots of people felt um, happy to be a part of this. Did, did you get enough to cover your cost from the community? Did I? Yes. Did enough people donate to your cause to cover your cost? I had a check from one person for $325. Are you asking for the board to approve monies to help with this project? Yes, because I was told they would. Until Joe interrupt. told me that they wouldn't. I'm going to interrupt Tom Jay because I have a couple comments. I know. You look through all the board meetings and I've never oh, been part. No, I found Facebook posts since you're so good at putting stuff on Facebook. I found one that you posted in October of 2020. And you said you were looking into a program that will teach children about recycling. We would collect plastic caps and get benches for our new Castle Park. So that was in October of 2020. You keep saying 2019. Um, yeah, that's here what was discussed. This has October 30th. That's when I posted it. There was discussion the whole year. There was discussion before. Because I was on that forward. park for two. Uh -huh. My husband was, I was, Colleen was there, Joe was there. Yeah, there was I some other people there. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we were never appointed officially by the board. If I remember. Yeah, yeah, it was more of a group of interested individuals. It well, was never. No, it was it never. It really does. Well, anyway, yeah, anyway. get back to this. Um, well, he was asking about funding. So, yeah, I mean, oh, I'm saying say this has something to do with so forward in what they're asking the board to do. I know there's been a lot of history here that's very kind of confusing. Which makes me. no sense. This but, is a community project yeah, to help what, the what park. Do you, what do you want to do? In the community, and all of a sudden there's all this angst against, there's angst for me no, now, yes, because of how I've been treated. Well, what I don't do you think you're to do to make this a better situation. Yeah. That's what I'm going to I'm going to, can I read this letter? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We received a letter from you from yes. September 7th. that says, Township of Casco, for completion of the caps for Casco Township Park benches, a check to Green Tree Plastics for the amount of $1,350 if the township is a tax exempt status or $1,444.50 if tax is needed to be paid. Additionally, a gas card or check needs to be approved for the amount of $392. This is a guesstimate based on a round trip mileage to Evansville, Indiana of 984 miles, a full size truck hauling a trailer of 1,000 uh, pounds of caps and getting 10 miles of per gallon and gas being $4 a gallon. If given a gas card for $500, the, ba the balance will be returned to the township. This is preferred. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, since that when you were demanding, you never, came, you never came in front of the board formally. Yeah. Since 
2019. I was never told that I had to go formally in front of the board. <laughs> money that part was to be never approved. told. Right. Okay. Well, it wasn't. You're okay. No, so not. this was this was um, for the last board meeting or two board meetings before, and that's what I presented to well, you to discuss. Well, hold on, Jane. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the, and since that the, date, there was the more desire caps, to more, more caps done and more benches, so the okay. numbers are different. Okay. The desire to create get branches do this as a goodwill act, but your actions since then have not been something that builds goodwill. Um, these things, like Jennifer just read there, we've had people before through the years come and request funds from us. Sometimes we can't, you know, sometimes, most times we can't because of the fact that we're a general law township. It's very specific on what we could spend monies on. Um, when we got that, it sounded like a demand. It does sound like a demand. Well, that's because I talked to you, Joe, on the phone earlier in that, and you said, you know what, well, we don't have money for that. And that's a complete shock to me, having invested, and many people investing many, many hours for the last few years doing all this, all of a sudden, now there's not money to complete the project because <coughs> you're in charge and everything's changed. Well, it seems as, I don't think he's in charge of saying yes or no. The board approves he told all me it, no. but the board approves all funding. If the funding request had come to the board, which I don't believe it ever has, I don't recollect. What she just read. What well, she just read. That, that, that was, not, was that's not a request to the board as a whole to re, to approve the funding for this. Well, then I'm not sure. I'm aware. not sure that we would or wouldn't have, yeah. but that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. When you come I, to the that's board, that's why we haven't approved it. That's why there's not the money. You asked if you could put collection bins outside the township hall. That's all I believe was asked, and we said no problem. That's the okay. I was not made aware in any capacity that saying, "Hey, let's do this project." Yep, sounds good. That there was all this formality. So I guess as a as an um, unofficial committee member of the park, I should have been directed to, "Hey, well, here's what you need to do," because you guys have been fully aware of this project all four years. I come and give updates, and you guys say, "Thank you so much. This is just so cool." Thank you, thank you. I wasn't aware that you Excuse needed three thousand bucks from the board to finish the project. Is Excuse anybody me, no. on the board aware of that? No. You you did the caps, and I remember when we were redoing this, they were all up here, so we had to have the contractors take them back to your house because they had to take all this apart. So there was a whole bunch of stuff here, and that was back in twenty twenty one. There was nothing else done. Until two months ago or a mean? month ago. You also put out There was nothing, there was no talk, you never contacted us. It was just like, like Oh no, I did. I called Joe. I said, Joe, you know what? I got um, a couple of very traumatic um, health issues and I'm gonna have to back down from the planning committee that I was went on for one month. I said I have to back down from that, I have to back down from the caps. Joe says to me, Oh, I'll come and pick up the caps then. Okay, no problem, MJ. I understand. I said, okay. Well, what you got to haul them in? Because I said there's there's you know over a thousand. It's huge. You got you know you're gonna need something big. And he says, no problem. I'll be there by the weekend. Never heard from you again. Well, then maybe you should come to the board and ask us because mm -hmm. I don't know what you talked to Joe about. Yeah. That's between you and Joe. Oh, well, you know, on the board now. Yeah. So well, maybe at any of the several times that I've come to this and given updates, yeah. somebody could have said to me, "Hey, MJ, you know what? There's these official what? things you got to do that haven't been done." I would have put something on Facebook, but I probably would have got attacked by him yeah. because. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, really. and when I posted. Really, it, MJ. MJ. You would, instead of saying to me, the person who's coming and giving updates, nobody, nobody has ever said, hey, there's some forms you got to fill out. There's a certain way no, to get this. No, because you demanded money. No, you no, never came. No, no, no. You no, never no, came. about the last four years, not a you month You never ago. came and asked anything. You said you were going to bottle drive them two years ago. No. No. You did. Oh, hold on. Well, yes. Okay. 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 Hold on. 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 Hold Two months ago, you came from the board and had all the money to cover all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Two months ago, I had Brent, in the minutes you had all the money to cover the four benches you wanted. Brenda, do you have a? Yeah, I'd like to step to the podium, please. Yeah. I well, I'll tell you what. There's people who said that they were going to donate to the benches, and one backed out because they had a, a medical emergency. Another one has backed so out. Thank you, sweetheart. Five hundred dollars for transportation. Thank you. Birthday card. So you're still collecting. Five. If anybody else wants to put in 
ten dollars, five dollars, whatever, to the transportation costs of this, feel free. I have been I feel free recording secretary of this board the day you came and asked if you could put a collection bin out there. Mm -hmm. I have been on the sat at this table <coughs> with that lady, that gentleman, that gentleman, all these years. I have been following you. Mm -hmm. Joe Stevens, please preface That's your newfound agenda. Title of power and brand new chosen by you park. This is MJ. Park me. Disregarding the park board I was previously on is unofficial for some reason, which it was unofficial. People need to be knowledgeable of procedure. Don't blame these people. Do your homework instead of posting this mean-spirited type of post. And no, I'll continue. continue. I will continue. Well, this community project, oh wait, to grandfather this project in. This community project has been ongoing for through four years through COVID and was approved verbally by the then township supervisor and the then only park board existing for which I was a member. There is not one person that sits at that table that is a body of one. Don't look at me. You can, I'm looking at everyone. You can say Joe told you until the cows come home. Joe has no right to decide for the five. Okay. So you need to okay. know that before so you come again. So I'm going to continue. Here's Do your homework. Do my homework. Okay. Now, okay. this post of yours, Joe, seems hateful and vindictive. Specifically to this project's completion. The very first regulation of your brand new board. Please explain your motive here. We, the hundreds of people, who have worked together on this project need to know. So, the hundreds of people who need to know have been listening to the wrong person. If you have any questions or you doubt anything that any one individual on this board has to say, you are mistaken. They are a body of five. And this type of thing went unanswered. Not one person on that board responded to this because we don't want to lower ourselves to this kind of standard. I have worked with every one of these people for over 18 years and I can tell you not one of them is vindictive. They work with anyone who will come to them in an honest, humble conversation. Well, I so you, you were very misinformed. Okay. You know what? Okay. No, I'll I'm not going to speak. No, 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 no. no. She, no, no, no. I wasn't done. Uh, well, she we said, let me get out of here. So I did. Yeah. But you've been doing it all over Facebook. This yeah. is where you can do it. MJ, I have other um, people who yes. I make comments. Yes, Colleen. MJ. Yes. Do you have the other three people who... Um, <clears throat> I have their names and their phone numbers, yes. Um, they have, I mean. Do you have a deadline? You have a deadline of October the 11th where you needed those funds? Yeah. The trip is, uh, well, the trip is next Friday because that plan, which Joe was aware of being in completion, uh, needs four weeks in order to place the order, get a one on scheduling. So, yes, so, so the trip is next week. Um, the other two entities, are they businesses in Casco? You know what, they're, they're, surprisingly, they are residents of Casco that are business owners, but their businesses are not in Casco. Oh, they I said see. they wanted it because of their children, hoping their children are going to be able to enjoy them at our local park. That's nice. Yeah. Good. Really nice. Well, hopefully they will um, hear this discussion and they will come forward with their funds to get this project um, completed. Um, I understand the benches are unassembled. That makes it easier to move. Yes, yeah, since there's six of them, they were going to be assembled, but it's very simple. It's just screws. Yeah, just screws but and it's probably a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Do you have some place to store those? I do not. Uh, you can use my farm. 
um, because I don't think the park is going to be in any condition to accept. Well, uh, it appears that the place park doesn't want these benches. I'm sure that they do. Anyway. So there is a plan B of the benches being utilized in the community that isn't in the, in the park. We're going to have a trail going along connecting. Benches would be nice to be there. We have elementary schools. They could be a buddy bench. It was for the community. The behavior of what's been going on, um, in my experience, here with the park, um, they don't have to go to the park. They can be in the community. Because that was the intent. I think everybody on this board appreciates all that you've done, and we would have no problem. The way this was handled with the the stuff on Facebook well, and people being misinformed, and you keep adding to okay, well, it. This and started, people, there's there's a there's something on our today. Like to make a comment. Oh, hold on. There's something that was posted. I don't know if it was today or yesterday. But there's all these comments, and it's <coughs> people once they're misinformed, they they don't take the time to come I to board meetings. I don't people. You did. No, I you did. That I did. And so the information that I didn't have that I'm supposed to do my homework, I'm supposed to pull. It's hard to even pull information off the website, and it's the answer you guys have to anybody that has a question. It's on the website. It's on the site. It's on the. You know, it's not. It's not what, easy to make. You can call. You what, can come up here. What information are you looking for on the website? I don't think you've ever called me and asked me for help on the website or anything no. else. What, well, I see okay. it on Facebook. So, Joe. First of all, everybody is telling me that there's all this information that I should have known. I didn't know to look for something that I didn't know didn't what exist. What were you looking for? What specific information are you looking for? I was, okay, very recently, in the last couple of days, I was looking for the agenda for tonight. That's I, I'd like to make a comment, because I do the agendas, and I don't appreciate you putting on there that some lady had asked for one and I told her she couldn't have one. I didn't say it was you. Mr. Merker I didn't say it was you. asked for a copy. Today Nick he came and asked for a copy. He, he right calls on. us, asks for it. He well, that's good. It's the bylaw. We have it on our website and it's in the window. It is in there by the Thursday before the meeting. Well, so it wasn't all you. It's it was there. Jennifer and I witnessed it and I've seen it. I sat here and said I would you. like that person to come forward. Well, she can't something. because with brain cancer, she's in a nursing home right now. You have a for everything and you're putting all of us on Facebook, making it look like we don't do our jobs. We do our jobs and we do it by the law that we're given. Well, the more I see, the more it concerns me. And it started with you telling me that nope, no money for the, this project. The board had not approved any money because the request for the funds did not come to the board. Okay, so what she read, no, she's saying that letter. he wouldn't have done that, but it has to go through the right process. Okay, he didn't say that to me. He didn't say, well, MJ, what you got to do is come to the board. No, you never called me that. I most yes. certainly did. The last time you called me. I didn't say it was the last time. The last, the, only the last <laughs> recent call, the only call, you called me about the statement I put three weeks ago about donations to the park. Right, and you and you said show up here for your answers. And but was before, the before that. But before that, you did a, a vicious personal uh, an attack against me. You posted it. You could have called me first, and I could have explained it to you. Okay, so we can go about personality bashes, or we can go about the issue at hand, which is a part. Um, okay. Project for which nobody said, "Hey, MJ, okay, you got to go before we, the board." Or did you we, file an application? How do you look for something if you don't yeah, know it exists? Okay. MJ, we have. Yeah, MJ, we've, we've, MJ, we've, we've, we've heard awesome. you. We need to I'm move on. Okay, okay, so what's the resolution? Well, you got some funds tonight <laughs> that were collected by private individuals. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Shy subject to be a thousand. Okay. That's good. Take So what? And Colleen made a suggestion. So pony up, everybody. Yeah. So, are you, so what? Is there a form? No, we're not. What doing. is it that I do to present okay. this money MJ, for a cast to finish? to move finish. on. Please yes, sit please. down. That's, an answer. That's a question. What do I need to move forward? For for the township <laughs> to, um, out of, maybe out of the 17000 they get every year for the Parks and Rec, um, that they could just pay the three grand to get six benches what is done and over with. What is Pardon me? What has it been used for anyway? Exactly. And for how many years that we haven't had a park to okay. use? It's for 17000 Exactly. It's taking forever. We were There's people who walk away from the whole thing because it's just been such a roll eye ridiculous well, organization of things. Oh, I will take a seat. Um, 
So All what right. form do I need? Because I couldn't find we'll forms, I couldn't find the agenda. Take a seat, please. I couldn't find the agenda. Yeah, no, that's right. Seat. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find the agenda seat, for tonight until I it's downloaded it. Uh, I read it on here the whole time. Pull up, this, wow. pull up the website and show her right. black and point. I do agree okay. with Mary Jo that it's a little bit difficult. I have to use my phone and forward myself the agenda to be able to print it on my computer that doesn't have Microsoft Office on it. I, I use Google Docs. So I, I struggled a little bit, and I'm very computer savvy. So it, I did struggle with trying to print the agenda. I was looking for August or September 12th meeting minutes, and I couldn't find those. Those were not out there for me to do. I mean, that's what I was doing. And on my computer, it would only let me open through Microsoft Office. I don't have that. So that, this is but when I went on my phone and forwarded it to myself, I could open it in Google Docs. So maybe I'm not as savvy as I want. But when I said it's true, it's, true. it's, yeah. it's right. difficult. Okay. okay. All right. Debbie. Debbie loves Carbone 8014. Let me see. Um, so who's on the Park Advisory Committee now? Mm -hmm. We have uh, Gina here. We have uh, well, yeah, Brian Hayes. Yeah. Uh, I didn't Brian come up and said, Brian you Hayes. need to download yeah. before you see them. So H-A-K-E, uh, Jennifer Johnstone, mm -hmm. um, Apple, Maria Mullen. Uh, hold on, I'm actually writing this down. I can get that information. Because I was going to have the email because that's what I okay. like to do. But but, all right, they have, and the bylaws that they approved last month, they have the ability some to create subcommittees to come up with certain So there is opportunity to uh, get right involved. there on the board. Right. And to actually go back to this situation, so I wanted to look at the meetings from last <coughs> uh, month before I came. And you do have to download the Microsoft 365, and it's funny, we're giving them $1,572. When, um, so like I have an Android phone, I don't know if that's the difference or not, but it wasn't working out for me. So why can't we just pull up the document? Can you go to iTech? Because they're just right there, right? Um, and say, why can't it just be, even if it was just a regular doc? PDF. Yeah. Right, PDF. Yeah. 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 I, I, I can ask the people that run the website if they can do, maybe they can do both. <coughs> so who does do this? PDF? Who's going to ask somebody? Well, we, we could ask I'll, the person I, who can I will do it that. tomorrow. Because well, a lot of times, you know, you don't have to be at the meetings to at least just be trying to Right. Up to okay. And, yeah. All right. I'll, I'll contact you. Is that it, is that it Debbie? Okay. All right. Anybody else have a comment? Okay. Yes. DJ Garner, how you First of all, this the meeting minutes and the agendas. We had this conversation last spring, I think, because they weren't showing up. I think Nick and I were the only people at one of the meetings. We promised. Promise they that would be taken care of because they hadn't been well, well, when we had to recall it. Was that planning commission meeting for a while? Mm -hmm. No, I think it was a regular Stephen, I know we were missing a meeting. Yeah. We did have to contact yeah. the lady who does the website to put them on. And They're always available in the office yeah. for anyone to see. And like September's meeting apply. minutes won't be on until after today because they're not approved until the next yeah. month. Okay. okay. So and that's can, why okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that kind of little uh, tip of trivia no, put can be posted at the top, right? Yeah. Put a little yeah. blurb up there so yeah. that I, I should know better, right? I am IT. Okay. No, that's okay. We'll put it up. But you can post them in PDFs and please make sure they get up. Okay. okay. I don't want to hear people no, say No, we've been trying not. every month to make sure, and I think one time Nick said it's not on there. Yeah. And she had been, Vicki emailed her, like, whatever day it was, and it was, like, two days later, and she still hadn't, and she's like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. She kind of puzzled. There's the meeting, the meeting agenda for tonight on my... Yeah, I can look them up. I have no issues. It's no, just trying to print them out. No, I mean, I'm not on the license off the computer printer. Apparently, Apple did this once before. Yeah, you can speak to I have Android. I had to personally download Microsoft Office. I had to form them. They're always in the window. From my app. They're always in the window. 
She said something about a couple of people um, was going to give you money, uh, and, and if they watch this, because it's oh, October 11th is the last day. This one. Yeah. Oh, no. It, even if I get it in tomorrow morning, the studio coordinator works a day job. He won't get it in. He yeah. won't get it on till the afternoon, sometime in the afternoon. So, um, yes. well, we're physically okay. leaving on the 19th, and the company needs the money on the 20th. How much do they need? How much do they do? They, they need the whole three grand? What is this? What yeah, are you talking whole, about? It's been whole, taken care of, hasn't it? No, there's only been one person who has. Okay. I also this want to so add real quick, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, also, I also want to add. Determinations into goodwill. Excuse me. What did you have to add? <laughs> According to um, an EMC bylaws, uh, these videos will be up within a five working day period. So, you know, it, it's not an official, it's not a turnover, it's, we're, we're not live. We have up to five days to get it on the yeah. air. But like I said, even if I bring it in tomorrow morning, it will not go up until the afternoon. We appreciate your efforts. Yeah. MJ, yeah. the best you. you can do is contact okay. these people okay. that yeah. made promises. Um, ma'am. I just have a good question. Yeah. Where can you see these videos on YouTube? I don't know. Yeah, yep. 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 Okay. Another, another, does anyone else have any question? Okay. I have a question. Yeah, Brenda. Um, the policy going forward about such donations are private. Is that correct? Anything going for any more donations are not to be brought before the board for approval for. Payment by the board. It's going to be a private donation. Well, yeah, from a, I mean a private individual. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. For the benches. Or no, for, for the, the party. In, in totality, anything. Okay. Benches from here forward, right. the totality 
of those donations will not be coming before the board. These are individuals who are aware of the total cost of the purchase of the bench, the travel, the hotel with the jacuzzi, any of it. It's a private donation. Unless it goes through to the advisory committee, then brought to the board for approval for funding. Well, well any, any kind of donations we want brought before the advisory committee so they can see if it fits in with the design of the park. So we don't have this confusion anymore. That's my whole point. If you, when I die, I want a huge squirrel put in the park. Okay. <laughs> all right. Take a tree stump and what okay. color okay. do you want? Okay. That would have to come right, to the board, right? Well, let's do we have anyone yes. else who would like to talk? Okay. Yes. Do we have anyone else who would like to talk? I don't know. So it's not even completely related to the park. Or to the park. So we're good. Right. Um, Nick Raybert, I live down the road at 48, 48 on the road. Um, I was at the last planning commission meeting. As you know, I've been in the proponent to changes to ordinances. I saw that the hoop building thing got bounced back to 250 square feet, 200. 200. Um, now, is that going to require foundations? For my, my thing with that is, is the, the state looks at them and says if they're under 400 square feet, we don't care. If they're over 400, then it's an issue unless it's agricultural, and then they, they kind of break it down percentage-wise. Right. The little hoop buildings that you can buy at the hardware stores, they're you know, anywhere from 200 square feet, well, 24 square feet to 250 to 400. And then you get into commercial size ones, such as the farmer down the road. Looks fine, it's great, whatever. Or the one that MGM built looks like a pile of crap, but it's in our country. There's a difference between commercial grade and residential. And personally, the residential ones, I don't think they should be. If they're secured like they're supposed to be for the manufacturers, they follow the setbacks, they look a whole lot better than tarps covering everything up. Because if you put one up to store, instead of having all your yard stuff laying outside your yard, it's contained in a little building, it looks fine. Compared to having a tarp over your lawnmower, tarp over your tractor, tarp over a pile of wood. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of getting to where it's, my feeling is, is we're starting to nitpick in the township, like, well, we can't do this anymore, and you can't do this anymore, and you can't do this anymore. And it is starting to get towards <laughs> that more city-fied, like, mm -hmm. well, your grass is over three inches long, here's, here's a violation. Yeah. And it's, 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 not right. Right. Well, it's just where it's we're getting to. All right. Okay, anything else, Nick? Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> Is the hoop building thing. I thought that was coming back to the township board because the planning commission yeah. had said that a much larger yeah they increased and the building code in the state said no it had to be four hundred feet. So I was I I was not understanding how the planning commission could ignore what the state of Michigan's spec was. So I thought it was coming back to the township board, yeah, right. and all I'm going to do is approve of whatever the state of Michigan right. says. Exactly. Mm -hmm. the, the planning commission made it bigger when the state was smaller. They but they state. had no jurisdiction to do that. Right, that's correct. But then yeah. But, that's, yeah, but the state classifies them as not as a whole different structure because yeah. they're yeah. they're bolted together with nuts and bolts and not wood. Yeah, I guess that's another yeah. discussion. Who would yeah. yeah, I'm not understanding that they're going to be a the park development policy. Yeah. Is that phase one and two that was in the paper a couple months ago with Tim yes. Ward? Yeah. What was the dollar value on that? Right. It was like three hundred and sixty thousand or something. I can get to. I don't have to. I can get to the figures for you. We had it for phase one and two? Yeah, you might. Yeah. How many phases are you anticipating? Well, hopefully three. I can imagine what that last one would be. It's a dollar. Yeah, huh? we got grants. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still a dollar value that taxes are paying for in mm -hmm. material. You go back to our new business under C, that PCE invoicing right. administration fee. What What is that? Okay. Um, project Control Engineering, um, they do all of our engineering reviews for commercial industrial sites. So they check for drainage or any other kind of engineering related issues. 
And um, we, they will, like any firm, they charge a fee. And they, um, they send it to us for us to build the applicant because we have leverage against the applicant. If they don't pay, we don't give them permits. But that's commercial and industrial yeah. element. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If somebody made a statement, I thought my name was in it, but I must have been yeah. losing my hearing. You look paranoid there, Ken. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Castle, people. When you do your research on some of the stunts they try to pull, keep digging. It's uh, amazing. Anything, anything, sequence of events. Okay. 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 Anything else, Jim? Uh, Not the right time, okay, sir. Jim Simon, 9609 Regional Road. Um, Last month there was about 10 people here, citizens of Castro, that asked about a non-compliant uh, person that's squatting on the barn. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, we're our ordinance enforcement official. He's up to his second letter. The next letter will be from the township attorney. Okay. Yeah. Leading into that, um, a lavender, proposed lavender farm that's boarded my property. Off of the road. public here will be in. Uh, uh, okay. That letter that was sent out to the citizens that border that parcel mm -hmm. said it was vacant land. Is that right? Brenda? I believe that it is. Okay. There's no answer. But there is a house on the west side of that property. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven buildings. Is that it's better than Several buildings. Yeah. Looks like there's another so, house and another. The code enforcement officer should be looking in the rat. There's a driveway that comes off the church road, goes right back to that house. Okay. We would have to check the. Um, the, okay. the, the but I can say there is a house back there. I don't know if it's livable, but I know it's been remodeled before it was sold. No. So that's something that the code enforcement officer needs to take a look at. On church the driveway's church. Yes. That's There's a new driveway they created between the houses that go all the way back to the uh, west side of the property. Mm -hmm. You mean, uh, you mean there's a pond there, the yeah. little houses that Mrs. Matuji used to use as her art studios? Is that what you're talking the about? The one at the very yeah. back is one of the very There was one or two. They weren't, I mean, they were there's like no less than a This is at the back of the property, back in the woods. Oh, back in the woods. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I just, I just on the one that she used as her art studio. Yeah, it was along the side. It was to the south of the house. Yeah, oh, I don't know. If there's no permit pool or anything like that for remodeling, electrical, or anything like that, that's up there. I have no address to be able to. But something for the township to look at. There may be no address. We'll look at that. Well, then they don't have permits. That's right. They don't have no address. There's no address. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay. Any other questions? I just have one I'd like to circle back to. That is not the same. <laughs> My name is Brenda and I live at 100885 here. Um, I am new to the community, I've only been here a couple of years, and I'll be honest, I got most of my information off of the Township Facebook page, mm -hmm. which is the whole reason I'm here tonight from all the drama that's on it to see what's actually going on. But um, I couldn't find half of the stuff on the website, I'm very tech savvy, but as she said, is it possible to get the link? Or the information as to where to view it on YouTube on the website, because that would have helped me a lot. I actually had to take off working with the computer. Thank you. We technically have to video it. Well, regardless, it's so really nice. Yeah. Just okay. we'll, we'll, we'll talk to the person who maintains the website. Okay. If there's anything else. One more comment. If we're going to check. <laughs> about the website could it maybe a handful of us meet with the web person or like maybe yeah no we somehow like end user end user info. or have a have a separate meeting to discuss the website and maybe some ideas to improve for everybody's use, and then you take it back to the web person. Well, submit possible. some suggestions to us, and we'll Who forward it. Who is the to person it. that is the point person on our website? Uh, Steve's assistant. Karen. Yeah, Karen. I think there is a problem here. I've heard it out there, and I see it on the website now. Some of the officers on some of the committees are not correct. End user profile. What is the end user one? And I think there needs to be some. 
straightening out that on the website to make it more accessible and more accurate. Because it does not reflect the officers on the zoning board correctly right now. Even though that's been an issue for about three months. No, I think it's correct. It is not. I just think that. So I do think there really is a problem that we need to recognize and fix. I will do something off on the side. I'll give you my card. I'll get some suggestions. I'll just get people. I'll do some like an informal survey kind of thing, or you know, online meeting, whatever, and then we can discuss it. Maybe a handful. Okay. You want a handful of people. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, move, moving on. If there's nothing else. Okay. Um, board comments. I have one. It's a good one. Okay. We finally got our $3,000 grant money from the state of Michigan from our election grant last year. I submitted it on October 12, 2022. So two days shy of a year. Got it today. Just saying. It's only $3,000, but it'll pay for yeah. some of our elections. Okay. All right. I have, yes. Um, I hate to even bring this up, but I will. Um, being Irish, I don't like the idea of uh, selling land. However, I would like the township to consider what it is we're doing with the 60 acres on Meisner Road. Mm -hmm. Since we're expanding here, we have a park going there, we have the 60 acres we have uh, two plots on St. Clair Highway on a paved road, which we considered at one time uh, building a township hall there because it was on a paved road. Um, so you might just think about that. What, what is the purpose of the 60 acres on Meisner Road? And the two parcels, I think they might be five to seven acres each on St. Clair Highway. Um, do we really need it? Or is it unwise to sell land when you own it? Yeah. You mean if it's it's come to 60 acres, you sure it's not 97? Uh, well, you know, I, it, it, it is, it's yeah, in, in, in the 60 acres is, is what um, we farm, so yes. There's, there's like 30 acres of wood there, too. Yeah. yeah, and it's, it, it would be, yeah. I'd, have to, I'd have to look at it a lot to see how, it, if yeah. we were going to sell it and split it. My, it my, no my, my feeling is, is that where well, we should hold on it for, the recreational for people area? still for years in the future. <laughs> I guess I have a suggestion. Recreation that. open space. What Colleen just suggested, consider. We have a master plan that's being revised, I believe it. And there will be some public hearings currently that are going to be scheduled with respect to revising our master plan. It seems like a good um, matter, a good item for the agenda during those discussions with people in the township to figure out what does the township population want to do with that land? Do they want us to keep it or is there something we'd like to? envision for it, and I think that the um, planner who's going to run those hearings should be have that part of the agenda. Well, G it's G a good, Gina can bring it before the planning good, commission. Um, not the planning commission, the public hearings that are going to be with held the in, with the master with plan. Relatively, yeah. Relative to revising or accepting a new master plan, which we're obligated to do and we're going to do. Well, no, we're doing it right now. Yeah. What would you so, envision? When are the public what would you envision that? on that 97 Okay, well, let's, do, let's get that on the agenda. Nothing. Green space. Is that that Just green, green space, space that center? Like, like too many people. Seriously. It's getting too people-y. Yes. Yeah. 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 Too people <laughs> We could have a non people okay. space. Okay. All right. Dogs only. No. Goats. No dogs. And we could have your squirrel. Wildlife. All right. A wildlife refuge. All right. Any, any, Kelly, anything else? I'm not finished. I might talk on for hours and hours. Right I've been polite and sitting here for two hours myself. 
So, no, I have nothing else. Go right ahead. <laughs> Is there a football game on tonight? Yeah. Yeah. I'm scheduling the, um, the first meeting for the Parks and Rec organizational meeting. I'm working at the deep effect schedule of a couple members. Um, we're going to be, the township's going to be receiving some additional ARPA money from Commissioner Rushing. Um, from what I understand, the scope that we use these for are very narrow. So a lot of them will be for road efforts, uh, road um, improvements. Well, we, I brought up about the culverts that need to replace. We also have another couple of miles of St. Clair Highway that needs overlay. Um, Casco was unsuccessful in its bid of getting that Sparks grant. It was a 100% grant from the state. Um, we were going to, if we were successful, use it to pay the parking lot and the driveway into the park. Currently, the parking lot driveway is going to be a gravel, an aggregate lot, except where the handicapped parking areas will be concrete. And the, the okay. handicapped parking area concrete and the connecting sidewalks are concrete to the, where the pads in that. Mm -hmm. Not to say there is not more um, um, Other grants yeah, in the future. I'd like to, but the gravel, the aggregate, what they're putting on there will make a perfect base for paper. <coughs> okay, um, that's all I have. So, we're up to a German. Make a motion to adjourn. Okay, a motion um, and a support to adjourn. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. We have a motion. Blue Water Fallen Heroes Community Banner Program is in need of these Fallen Hero photos in the Casco area. If you have a photo, please contact 810-434-6407 or email weichsler10 at gmail.com.